Okay, we're going to look at some non-calculator examples of length of arc and area of sector. So it's important at this point to put the calculator away because sometimes you can be tested on calculating the length of arc and area of a sector on the non-calculator paper where you don't have access to a calculator. So let's go ahead with an example one. Example one will be to calculate the length of the arc given and here's the example. So I'm told that that's 30 degrees and I'm also told that the radius is 18 centimetres. Now crucially the question often will tell you to take pi to be equal to 3.14. So pi is actually a number which has got numbers after the decimal point which will go in forever. We call that an irrational number but we're going to take the approximation of pi to be 3.14 and quite often on calculator examples of these questions will ask you to do that. Okay, so let's press ahead with it. So the length of the arc is a bit of the circumference. So it's the bit out of the full circle is a 30 degree bit. So 30 out of 360 times pi d, since the circumference of the circle is pi times the diameter. Mm -hmm. Remember, we're not using the calculator at all. So we need to find a trick to get this question done without the calculator. Now remember that pi is given by 3.14. And the radius is 18 centimetres, so the diameter will be double that, which is 36. Okay. Now, this is looking quite intimidating at first glimpse. Now, the first point that I would say is 30 out of 360. That's very large numbers to deal with. So why don't we try and simplify that fraction, which we can do. We can divide top and bottom there by 30. So let's simplify the fraction, that'll make it easy to do without a calculator because we don't have option of using a calculator with this question. So divide top and bottom by 30, so 30 divided by 30 is 1, and then 360 divided by 30. We'll take a time with that. 360 divided by 30 is 12 times. So if you think that 330 into 360, if you think 30 into 300, that's 10, and then our two thirties will bring you up to 360. So that's 1 over 12 times 3.14 times 36. So again, 3.14 times 36 is looking like quite a difficult calculation, but we don't need to do that. What we could do is get the 36 and divide that by the 12. So we could do the 36 divided by the 12. So those would cancel out to give me 3. So now what I've got is 3.14 times 3. Now that at that point is quite an easy calculation, which you can go to the side and do. Take your time with it, line up the decimal point. 3 fours are 12, 2 down carry 1. 3 ones are 3 plus 1 is 4. And 3 threes are 9. And the final answer then is 9.42 centimetres to two decimal places this time. Okay, let's try an example two. Example two. And here's the arc. The angle at the centre is 45 degrees. The radius is 8 centimetres. And I'm wanting to find the length of the arc without using the calculator. So LOA length of arc is equal to 45 out of 360 times pi times the diameter. So that's 45 out of 360 multiplied by 3.14 because we're going to take pi to be 3.14. I should have said that up front. We're going to do that for each question. Times the diameter. Well, we can see that the radius is given by 8. So the diameter then will be given by 16. Okay, same routine, 45 over 360 is looking quite tricky to deal with. So let's make it a lot easier by simplifying down. We can 
can divide top and bottom by 45 there. So 45 divided by 45 will bring me down to 1. And 360 divided by 45. Well, think about how many 45s are in 90. Well, that's 2. So how many 90s are in 360? That's 4. So that's 2 lots of 4, which will be bringing me down to 8. Okay, I can then do 16 divided by 8 is 2. And that's 2 times 3.14, which I can go to the side and do that. That's easy enough. And that will give me 6.28 centimetres to two decimal places, final answer. Okay, now we're going to try some area of sector questions. So I'll start off with this one. I'm going to find the area of the sector. I'm going to take pi to be 3.14. We'll see that that sector's got an angle of 45 degrees there. And the radius is given by 2 centimetres. We're not going to use the calculator. So the area of the sector is a bit of pi r squared. So the bit is a 45 degree slice of the full circle, which is pi r squared. Remember, not using a circle, not using a calculator, rather 45 out of 360 multiplied by, we're taking pi to be 3.14 multiplied by the radius, which is 2 squared. Okay, so similar to before. Let's make the numbers a lot smaller by simplifying that down. I can divide top and bottom here by 45. And that will give me, well, 45 divided by 45 is 1. And 45 into 360 will go 8 times. So remember that 45 twice is 90. There's 180, there's 260, there's 360. That's 8 times. Times 3.14 times 2 squared. Okay, so 2 squared is 2 times 2. I can then do 4 divided by 8 is 1 half. So that's 1 half of 3.14, which is easy enough. I can go to the side and do that without a calculator. 23.14. Line up a decimal point. 23 goes 1 remainder 1. 2011 goes 5 remainder 1. 2014 goes 7 times. 1.57 square centimetres to two decimal places. Okay, let's try an example four. I'm going to find the area of a sector of this circle. So the angle at the centre of the circle is 30 degrees and I'm told that the radius is 6 metres. Now I'm going to find the area of the sector. So remember that the area of the sector is a bit of the circle, so the bit's 30 degrees. And the full circle, which would be pi r squared. Okay, so 30 out of 360 multiplied by 3.14. We're going to take pi to be 3.14. Multiplied by the radius squared, well the radius is 6, so that's 6 squared. So again, let's bring the 30 over 360 down. So I can divide top and bottom there by 30 and that will give me 1 over 6 times 3.14 times 6 squared is 36. Okay, so 36 divided by 6 will give me 6 and then it's 6 times 3.14. Which I can go to the side and do it, line up the decimal point, 6 fours are 24, we'll down carry 2, 6 ones are 6 plus 2 is 8, and then 6 threes are 18. Final answer area sector then is given by 18.84 square centimetres. Okay, let's try one final example. Okay, this time we've got a sector which has got an angle at the centre which is 60. I'm told that the radius is 12 and I have to find the area of the sector. Again, we're going to take pi to be 3.14. So it's the bit of the circle, which is 60 degrees, times pi r squared. 
Okay, so 60 out of 360 multiplied by 3.14 for pi multiplied by 12 squared. Remember, squaring something is multiplying it itself. Okay, first thing is let's get this right down. 60 over 360. 60 goes into 360 six times, so that will be 1 sixth times 3.14. And then 12 squared, 12 twelves. I'll take your time with that, that's 144. Okay, it's then 144 divided by 6. So let's see what that gives me. So 6 into 1 doesn't go. Carry the 1. 6 into 14 goes 2. The middle 2. And 6 into 24 goes 4. So that's now 4 times 3.14. Which again, I can go to the side and do it. And that will give me 12.56 square centimetres. Final answer.